Hello, everyone, and welcome back to CoinAz. Today, we're diving into the world of rare and valuable coins, starting with the 1953 P Lincoln cent. While MS65 and 66 RD grades are quite common for this coin, the MS67 RD grade is notably rare. Typical of many Philadelphia mint cents and nickels from the 1950s, these coins may exhibit some color inconsistencies, with spotting and staining being frequent issues. Despite there being no significant varieties for this issue, aside from cud die breaks, it remains a collector's item. Interestingly, the mint director's annual report indicated a decrease in the cost of coining cents to just $1.03 per thousand, a sharp decrease from previous years where production costs exceeded one cent per piece. This MS67 superb gem ended up selling $14,100. Next up, we have a truly modern numismatic marvel, the highly sought after 1968 No S Roosevelt dime. This dime stands out as it was accidentally struck at the San Francisco Mint without the S mint mark, marking one of the most significant errors in U.S. mint history. It's particularly rare as it was the first instance where a proof coin was mistakenly issued without the necessary mint mark. Only a handful of these dimes managed to find their way into circulation, with experts estimating that just a few dozen examples exist in all grades today. This Proof 68 Ultra Cameo Gem fetched $25,200 at auction. Let's look at the 1960 Jefferson Nickel Rated Mint State 66 Plus with full steps. Although most 1960p nickels show average quality, they generally boast better luster and strike compared to their 1960d counterparts. Some might even display a faint proof-like appearance, likely struck from retired proof dies. Finding coins with any degree of sharp steps is a rarity, making this full steps nickel highly desirable. This particular specimen commanded a staggering $8,493.75 at a recent coin auction. Here we feature an attractively toned, uncirculated 1947 Roosevelt dime. Although the mintage at Philadelphia dipped to less than half of the previous years, this coin remains common across all grades up to MS67. Most examples from this year tend to be weakly struck, showing signs of considerable die erosion due to overuse. Coins that display full torch FT features are less common and thus more frequently submitted for grading. Notably, there is a popular double die variety for the obverse, which is quite sought after by collectors. This particular MS68 gem with full bands definition sold for $2,160. Next, we have a 1953 Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 65 with full steps. In 1953, quality control at the Mint continued to decline markedly. The 1953 Nickels were generally produced with little care, resulting in coins that were weakly struck and often appeared slightly dull and dark. Nickels with five full steps are rare, while those with six full steps are almost unheard of, making this coin a significant rarity. Sold for $5,462. Let's discuss a 1941 proof Lincoln cent. Despite an increase in sales from the previous year's mintage, high grade examples of this date remain scarce. Cameo pieces are particularly elusive. Overpolished dyes were common in 1941 proofs as the mint struggled to meet rising demand by reusing slightly worn dyes. This proof 67 graded red gem fetched $3,240 at a coin auction. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed these insights into rare and valuable coins. The 1977 D. Kennedy half dollar that was strikingly minted on a 40% silver alloy, a material intended to have been used for the last time in the 1976 S. Bicentennial coins. However, a small batch of these leftover silver planchettes mistakenly found their way into the dies for the following year's coinage. This lustrous, lightly toned, sharply struck, and well-preserved specimen fetched a remarkable $5,875 at auction. Next, we explore the 1971 Eisenhower dollars. For this year, the Mint released four variants, the 1971 P, 1971 D, 1971S uncirculated, and 1971S proof. Finding these coins in MS65 is particularly challenging as most have already been graded, and due to their large size and weight, many exhibit visible nicks and scratches. Fewer than 1,500 coins may exist in this grade, while the MS67 grade is considered rare. A standout MS66 plus specimen sold for $10,281.25, highlighting its scarcity and collector interest. 
Lastly, we turn our attention to the 1932D Washington Quarter. Originally, over 436,000 quarters were minted at the Denver Mint in 1932, a quantity thought sufficient to prevent speculative hoarding. Yet, as coin collecting surged in popularity a generation later, the 1932D quarters became highly coveted, leading to rapid price increases and hoarding. While many entered circulation around 1934 when Denver resumed production, mint state examples remain scarce and gems are quite rare. This particular MS-65 CAC-approved quarter sold for $13,800, underscoring its rarity and desirability among collectors. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you found these insights intriguing. Share your thoughts or your own finds, and stay tuned for more fascinating numismatic explorations in future episodes.